there is a good news for the people those are using STM32 nuclear board. Now they can program it with Hoover board, mother board with Arduino ID is very easy. So you want to program and you know how to program Arduino. So you can program your STM nuclear board. Also you can program Hoover board mother board with Arduino IDE. This is very easy. So I will show you how to program. Let's see. So once you know how to program STM nuclear board, then you can program Hoover board motherboard. So you can make your old Hoover board motherboard as per your desire. So you can control motors, LED, make it your own development board. So you need some skills. I will teach you one by one. So you want to program your hoverboard motherboard like a development board. It is having everything only just you need to know how to solder the points, how to find the pinouts. If you want to program single board, it is also a nuclear hoverboard. This one also STM32. I will show you how to program this, how to solder, make it your own development board. So you can program both boards, left side, right side. This is Hoover board, other boards. You want to program your printer kit as a development board. It is also having drivers. You can control servo motors, motor speeds switches everything is possible you have washing machine board so i will show you how to control big motors with this board you have other boards so you can use this board also as a development board one by one keep in touch i will show you one by one now today we'll start with very simple basics we'll start with STM32 original nuclear board. So program any board, every board, anytime. Keep in touch. Program with Arduino IDE. Let's start. Today I will program STM32 nuclear board with Arduino. So it's very easy how to install the Arduino IDE. First we'll install the Arduino IDE. Go to the Arduino website, arduino.cc. Just go to the software and download the Arduino IDE. For me, when I try to use a new version, I'm getting a compiling error with the STM32 nuclear board. So I will use the old one. If anybody having any solution, guide me. Also, I will watch your video. Normally using 1.80, Point two, but time one nine. The uh, continue with this one. Just download as download finish. Now you can start and install the Arduino IDE. Don't change any setting. It will go to the default setting where it want to install program in program files. Continue with that one. No need to change anything. About to finish after completion. Close this one. Okay, Arduino IDE install shortcut here in the available in the desktop. Just start the Arduino IDE. Okay, now we need to connect the Arduino ID with the STM32 board. So we need to provide the board manager files. So how to provide the board manager? In the Arduino ID, go to File, Preferences, because otherwise this Arduino ID is not having the STM32 board. So go to here additional board manager url here you need to paste one web link go to the web browser in the search bar just type github.com slash stm32 diano it will take to you, you uh, this stm32 diano website okay here stm32 manager files in the manager file the last segment is packages okay in the package go to the raw okay when it in the raw just copy the web browser 
URL. Control C, copy. Okay. Now come back to the Arduino Board Manager URL. Control V. It will paste the URL here. Press OK. So now this it will update the board libraries. So go to Tools. Here, actually I already installed, but if you don't have, just type here STM32. TM32 because I already installed so it is having 2.3 version so otherwise you have to install this one from here and close it will download the libraries then after that go to the tools board here you can select Nucleo 64 then again tools part number which board you are using so i am using stm 32401re after that we need to connect the nucleo board so i will connect my nucleo board so you can hear the sound then tools communication port here you select the port okay which port we need to select this if you know already you select then you can get board info it will give you the board info if you have original board the name will dis name will appear here otherwise the board will con connect and it will give some other informations how to check the board in the windows press window plus x key and from here open the device manager here you can see in the device manager this communication port is number four is usb serial device active if i remove the stm nuclear board so it will disappear see now it is no more available only com 3 is available when i connect again so com 4 will come so you can see no it is confirmed your com 4 is available also one node will open it will give you same time nucleo f401 board this is by the stm technologies now our board is connected so here go to the example basic blink so i am already on the blink then go to the first mino and compile the sketch so it is also showing you serial port is connected nucleo 64 communication board port 4 also there are different kind of boards some boards are 32, Nucleo 64, Nucleo 144. These are different kind of boards. So I will show you which board you are using. It's written normally on this one. This is which board I am using, Nucleo 64. So after verifying and uploading in the Arduino bottom side, you can see in the message video, one file copied, upload complete on node F401RE. So completed our project through RDNO ID to the STM32 board. Thank you.